Legend of Zelda, released on the Famicom in 1986, was a revolutionary adventure game that captivated millions of gamers. Its release sparked one of the most popular video game franchises of all time, and the game has since been recognized as one of the greatest in history. The original Zelda title has many praiseworthy characteristics. Its dungeons, items, and music are among them. However, one of the most defining aspects of the game is its underlying story. This video will give a chronological explanation of all storyline elements of the game. At one point, the Kingdom of Hyrule was at peace. At that time, Hyrule possessed two Triforces, mystical objects containing magical powers. The first, the Triforce of Power, bestows strength to anyone holding it. The other, the Triforce of Wisdom, grants incredible knowledge to its owner. One day, Hyrule was invaded by Ganon, the Prince of Darkness, who used an army to wreak havoc upon the land. Upon doing so, he seized the Triforce of Power, and the kingdom was plunged into darkness in an age of chaos. However, in an act of desperation, Princess Zelda split the Triforce of Wisdom into eight fragments, and disseminated them throughout the world to prevent it from falling into the hands of Ganon. She sent her most trustworthy nursemaid, Impa, to escape and seek out a man courageous enough to confront and overcome Ganon. When Ganon learned of the mission, he became infuriated, imprisoned Princess Zelda, and sent his minions to apprehend Impa. Impa did her best to evade Ganon, fleeing through forests and mountains, but was nearly captured by his henchmen. Suddenly, a boy named Link appeared and drove Ganon's forces off. Impa informed Link of the dire situation the kingdom faced, and the boy became committed to saving Zelda and restoring peace to Hyrule. To do so, he needs to find the eight fragments of the Triforce of Wisdom to gain entry to Death Mountain, where Ganon dwells. Throughout his adventure, Link must confront and defeat monsters, overcome challenges, and solve puzzles. Each segment of the Triforce of Wisdom is found in a different dungeon, also called a level. Each of the levels have rooms that form the shape of a monster or other object and contain keys, dungeon maps, and compasses to assist Link in his objective. As Link begins his journey, he heads into a nearby cave, where an old man tells him to grab the sword in front of him. He does so, obtaining the sword. Link is already equipped with a wooden shield, which allows him to block some attacks. Link discovers the entrance to level 1, the eagle, across a bridge and inside of a tree trunk. Therein, Link discovers the bow, which allows him to shoot arrows at enemies. In addition, he also stumbles upon the boomerang, which allows him to defeat weak enemies and stun others. At the end of the level, Link does battle with Aquamentus, a dragon that shoots fireballs. When he's defeated, Link obtains the first piece of the Triforce of Wisdom. The entry to level 2, the moon, is uncovered in the eastern part of Hyrule, in a green palace near the forests. Within, Link grabs the magical boomerang, which can be thrown farther than the original. In the depths of the dungeon, he faces off against Dodongo, a monster who can only be damaged by bombs. With his demise, Link receives the second segment of the Triforce. Level 3, the Manji, is found in an orange palace in the western section of the map. There, Link discovers the raft, allowing him to traverse over some bodies of water, but it can only be launched from docks. At the end of the dungeon is Manhandla, who has four heads and shoots fireballs. When he is defeated, Link grabs the third shard of the Triforce. In a secret item shop, Link buys the Magical Shield, a more powerful version of the Wooden Shield that can block additional projectiles. Link uncovers the entrance to level 4, the Snake, using the raft to enter a green palace. Inside, he finds the Step Ladder, which is used to cross small segments of water. The boss of the dungeon is Gliok, a two-headed dragon that shoots fire at Link. When he falls, the fourth piece of the Triforce is obtained. In the northwestern part of Hyrule, the Power Bracelet is acquired in a secret Armo statue. With it, Link can move some boulders in the overworld. The entrance to level 5, the Lizard, is an orange palace located in the Lost Hills. Inside, Link finds the Recorder, allowing him to uncover certain secrets when it is played. At the end of the dungeon, he faces off against Digdogger, a giant eye. Link uses the recently acquired recorder to overcome him, and finds the fifth shard of the Triforce. After obtaining at least five heart containers, Link finds the White Sword in a cave on the top of a waterfall. The White Sword is a more powerful version of the original sword. Link finds the entry to level 6, the Dragon, in a white palace near the graveyard. Inside, he finds the Magical Rod, allowing him to shoot magical spells at enemies. 
At the end of the area is Goma, a giant-eyed beast that must be shot with an arrow. With his defeat, Link grabs the sixth fragment of the Triforce. In a secret item shop, Link finds a traveling merchant who sells him the blue ring, an item that turns his tunic white and halves all damage. For level 7, the Demon, Link uncovers the entrance by playing the recorder on a screen with a pond. He finds the red candle inside, which allows him to fling fire toward enemies. At the end of the dungeon is Aquamentis, who is exactly the same as the boss of the first level. Behind him is the seventh piece of the Triforce. Once Link has found at least 12 heart containers, he receives the magical sword from an old man in a hidden area in the graveyard. The magical sword is an upgrade to the white sword, and is the most powerful sword in the game. To get to level 8, the Lion, Link must travel to the east end of Hyrule and use the red candle to burn down a tree. Inside, he finds the magical key, which can be used to unlock an unlimited number of doors. At the end of the level, Gliok appears again, but this time with four heads. When he is overcome, the eighth and last shard of the Triforce of Wisdom is found. Now in possession of all eight fragments of the Triforce of Wisdom, Link is able to travel to Death Mountain to confront Ganon. He uses a bomb to uncover the entrance in the northern area of Hyrule in the side of a rock. Inside, Link finds the Red Ring, which turns his tunic red and makes him take a quarter of the damage of the green tunic. He also discovers the Silver Arrow, a magical item necessary to destroy Ganon. At the end of Death Mountain, Link finds a dark room. He holds up the completed Triforce of Wisdom to reveal Ganon. Link is able to evade Ganon's fireballs and strike him with his sword. Using the Silver Arrow when he is stunned, Link is able to turn the Prince of Darkness into Ash. After defeating Ganon, Link picks up the Triforce of Power from the Ashes. Along with the reassembled Triforce of Wisdom, Link has saved both of Hyrule's Triforces. In the next room, he slashes through the fire to rescue Princess Zelda. Link and Zelda hold up the two Triforces, and Zelda congratulates Link on a job well done. After the credits scroll by, the player is informed that a second adventure awaits. Link now holds the sword on the file screen as indication of the second quest. Now, the game starts over with Link on the starting screen. Dungeons are now located in different areas, some items are in different locations, and the degree of difficulty is increased. In this quest, Link fights his way through all the dungeons, obtaining pieces of the Triforce once again. In the end, he beats Ganon again, and Hyrule is saved once more. With the second adventure concluded, The Legend of Zelda is complete. And so ends my complete story explanation for The Legend of Zelda. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be alerted upon the addition of new storyline explanations, and check out my other videos.